Stepping into the Espresso Kitchen once again for yet another delicious recipe. But you know what? There's so many different ways that families can bond. But one way of getting the whole family together and having a whole lot of fun is to get everyone cooking together. Now, this morning we're joined by Chef Moira and also two young aspiring chefs, Lisa and Bodaz, with us, who's going to make a recipe that uh, the whole family will enjoy and, of course, enjoy eating afterwards. Moira, guys, welcome to the show. Thank you. Moira, you've got kids. So what is it like for you? You know, how special is it to get the whole family involved in cooking? It's very special. Um, it's time that you, you find to actually just concentrate on, on finding out what your children, children have done through the day um, and teaching them techniques that they'll use later on in life when they become adults like us. I have a 17 year old and um, it was hard getting him into the kitchen. <laughs> he just wants to cook, cook junk food but um, if, if he can open up a can or something, all the better for him. And my three year old, I keep the flour away from her <laughs> and um, I let her mix the batter. But at three, she loves to get involved. She loves to help mummy. That's and it. that that bond that you yeah. have um, is something that you can't Everybody find helps. watching t TV or playing TV games. Absolutely, you know? so every bit helps. And I mean, special. it's a nice, nice bonding experience. Definitely. So, so Lisa, quickly before we start cooking, yes. what is one of one of your favourite dishes that you like to make? I guess I would say lasagna. A lasagna, yes. eh? Good old beef lasagna. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to come over to your house for some lasagna soon. <laughs> and Boda is my man. What do you like to do? You do, do you like to help out in the kitchen? Yes, I do. Yeah. All right. So, what are some of your favourite recipes? What What is your favourite recipe? Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. And do you have a bit of a sweet tooth as well? <laughs> ah, you're going to show us that sweet tooth a little bit later on. Moira, what are we making today? Well, today we're going to give the, the kids, or the aspiring chef, should we call them, because um, they love food so much, we're going to make a homemade pie Ooh, that nice. they can make for the family that you could serve with salad or, or something like more chips, french fries. And we're going to make a dessert. So giving either from Father's Day or Mother's Day or yeah. one of the special days, time off for your mum. Um, and just spoil the family a little bit. Or just cook together and eat it and enjoy it. Correct. Love it. Correct. Right, where Especially are we going to start? Are you guys ready, by the yes. way? Bodaz, are you ready? Yep. <laughs> okay, my man. Where are we starting? All right, this is a pie with um, chicken and bacon. So we're going to saute the onions. Okay, we'll so fry I'll... the onions, a little bit of oil okay, and so butter. You, you can see it's nice and hot there already. Just put up the heat there a little bit. Okay, cool. And then they, quite, they soften quite nicely now. You can add right. the bacon to that and the garlic. Okay. There we go. So we fry that up as well. You're going to fry that up just till it's, it's um, nicely um, browned on either side. And then okay. we're just going to throw in all the, other, all the rest of the ingredients. And um, that's what it's supposed to be. The joy of this recipe is it's so easy that the kids can do yeah. um, and get maximum flavour. We're using two um, products from our Koo range. Um, the mixed vegetables and the butter beans in a tangy sauce. Not many people yeah. know about the butter beans in tangy sauce. It's got okay. a lovely gravy in it, and which will give flavour to, to the mixture. All right, get, get the garlic in there. Come on, shake it out, shake it out. There we go. Looks good, eh? All right, you can hear it's starting to heat up now. So what's next? Now you can add in um, your tin products or oh. your canned products, should I say? Can you smell that, hey Lisa? Yeah. Garlic as it as it's blooming in the pan. I've heard that term recently. All right. Remember, okay. these vegetables are all cooked. Everything. Um, yes, that's fine. There we go. All right, and then you're going to add the butter beans. With a curry sauce or it's, the tangy curry sauce. It's got a sauce. lovely gravy in it, so you don't have to add anything extra into yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, um, look at that. And and it's really it's not that it's not very hot, so yeah. um, it's it's for the whole family to enjoy. It's more flavorful. Correct. All right. Thank you so and, much, Lisa. You're doing a great job. And then Lisa, take the yes. chutney um, and the spoon on your on your right there, and then just put the chutney in. This is just to add some sweetness into it to balance the the flavors. All right. So basically at the moment we are just making the filling for our beautiful bacon and chicken homemade pies. It's going to be delicious. All right, and then, then you, we're almost done. You can add the chicken to that. All right, and so this is great because this chicken is cooked already. So yes, basically if you have leftover chicken, you can just throw it in there. So something nice, a nice idea. So you don't end up throwing it away. So any, any leftover roast chicken or sandwich, chicken that's left over from the sandwiches. You can yes. also use any other meat. I've just chosen to, to do the chicken because it goes well with the bacon and the beans. Otherwise. All right, and then you just go, you need to then season it with a little bit of black pepper right. and a little bit of salt, just a pinch. Right, so you do the pepper there for us, my dear. Right. Okay, pinch of salt. Okay. Remember, you, um, you would always taste your food um, when you're at home because um, you want to, if you don't need to add salt, then you don't add it. All right, so your filling is done. Um, and then we're going to bring um, it over to Lisa. Lisa has got her puff pastry in front of her. Okay. It's easier to do it this way before you put the filling on so that um, yeah. you don't mess with the filling. Okay, All so right. that, that basically acts as the glue. That's going to be the glue. Okay, just And like you just that. need to do it on two of them, Lisa, because the other two we'll use as a, as a lid. 
Right. And you can make your pies any size. Yeah. Yeah, we've just chosen to do squares and you can have more and you can keep some for school. So quickly put a spoon on the middle. There we go. Yes. Love it. Homemade chicken pies. Now, if you want to get your hands on the recipe for these um, these pies this morning, we're also going to be showing you how to make a delicious dessert. SMS the keyword Q to 33728. That's Q to 33728. And you'll automatically be entered into the draw to win okay. yourself an AMC gourmet pan worth 2,400 Rand. Brilliant, brilliant piece of cookware as well. Okay. And there we go. And then I've put one on the top of each, the lid on top. And then what you can do, Lisa, is you take your fork and you go around the edge and you just seal it. Okay. okay. For the pies, fry onions, add garlic and bacon. Add the chicken, coo butter beans in tangy sauce, coo mixed vegetables and chutney. Season and simmer for five minutes, then put aside to cool. Divide mixture between pastry squares. Egg wash all around the edge of the pastry, then top with another pastry square and seal the edges. Egg wash the top, then bake for 30 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. Let's move on to our dessert. All right, this is, this is the pi piece de resistance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what I've got here, I've got flour. We're going to add in some cocoa. Um, it's all been sifted, and we're going to just mix it, and then add in your sugar. All right. All right. This is this is like a self-sourcing pudding, but we're adding pears into it. So Sounds I'm going to I'm, I'm the one that's going to get my hands dirty now. Okay. All right. You just throw things together there, both All right. All right. So there we go. I've added butter in. You can use margarine, okay. um, but obviously butter gets, gives it a lovely flavour. All right. All right. And then Bodez, will you add in the um, milk for me? Here's the milk. Just pour it in slowly. All right. So what are we looking for then, Moira? We're looking for a very stiff batter. A stiff batter, yeah. OK. Um, and it's, it's nice to use your hands, yeah. all right, because they're really dirty from, from mixing the butter into the flour mix. All right. So we're just going to mix it together. And you can go quick. This is lo lovely, lovely play. Yeah. And you can see it all coming together. OK, and for the rest of the ingredients there, then all once right. that's mixed. And then um, while I'm putting this into my, paste, into my bowl, if you can mix the cocoa with the sugar. There we go. Lovely cocoa powder and the sugar over there, my man. All right. Then take the pear, the pear juice. Is that the pear juice? This is the pear juice. Now, remember, we're using coup pears in, in this recipe. Yeah. So you just uh, you don't throw away the juice. It's all oh, very okay. important. It adds to the flavour of the dish. Perfect. So add that in. Oh, and then, look at that. Then take your whisk. So basically, it's very, very easy. Just a few yeah. ingredients, and you get yourself okay, and just a stir nice it, gooey stir pudding. Stir it slowly, so you, you stir slowly, so the cocoa doesn't go everywhere. You just want to mix it. All right, and then add in your warm water. This creates a sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the bacon dress, and then we're going to put pears on top and choc chips for oh. extra chocolateness, because kids love chocolate. Hey, Bodas, how delicious does that look, my man? Hey, good enough to drink, right? Ah, I'm telling you this. You know what? So this is a brilliant, brilliant idea for a main and a dessert that you can do with the whole family. That keyword is KU. SMS that to 33728 and we'll send you the shopping list. Also a link to the recipe that you can go follow. But if you want to see one more time at how we made these delicious two recipes perfect for the whole family, here's your chance. For the pudding, mix flour and cocoa powder, add melted butter. Stir in the sugar and milk. Spoon into baking dish and sprinkle with chocolate chips and KU pears. Mix sugar, cocoa powder, boiling water and reserved pear juice until sugar is dissolved. Pour over the pudding and bake for 50 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. Oh, it just looks absolutely delicious. But once again, that keyword is KU. SMS that to 33728. We'll send you everything you need to know. So, Moira, we are finishing up that chocolate pudding on that side with Bodaz. Yes, well, we're right. just going to put the pears on top of the chocolate pudding. You can put them anyway, or if you want to make, be creative and have a design, it's fine. Or just well, scatter them around. Or just scatter them around. That's what I would do. And then we, then we go and we take the choc chips. Oh. This is just to make it extra chocolatey. Yeah. And we sprinkle that over the top. And then Badaz is going to help me and put the sauce over it. Okay. And then we're going to put it into the oven to bake. So the sauce basically just to ensure that so there's enough moisture going around. Correct. Go. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, you're doing such a good job. <gasps> that looks amazing. Well done.
So, so okay, basically, there's a lot of sauce, yeah. but uh, once your batter starts um, coming together and rising, you'll see that um, all the sauce yeah. goes in, and then when you scoop it out later, um, you'll have a lovely right. gooey chocolate pudding. Uh, Lisa, on this side, how do these look? Eh? So, uh, so just quickly, how long were our pies in the oven? Um, they were for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. easier than that. You want to try and one? And just remember, it depends on the size that you make your pie. Okay. So you just want to go until it's light and, and golden brown. All right. Do you want to taste your chocolate pudding? Oh, beautiful. On, there, we there we go. go. This is really good. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. It was lots of fun. Bodas, give us a thumbs up on that pudding once you've tasted it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, thumbs up, mm -hmm. thumbs up. <laughs> Two thumbs up. I well like it. Well done. Moira, thank you so much. Lisa thank Bodas, you. thanks for joining us and just spending some time with us in the kitchen. Remember, if you want to make these recipes, all you need to do is SMS that keyword. It is KU to 33728. We'll send you everything you need to know and you'll automatically be entered into the draw to win yourself an AMC Gourmet Pan worth 2,400 Rand. And also then, if you have any canned uh, food products that you like to use in your cooking, you can share those recipes with us at food at expressoshow.com. And who knows, Moira could be making it live here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Only the best cook serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.